Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I am so wound up because, okay, you know, life continues all around you and changes in the air and you will not believe. We finally figured some things out. And so one of the things we have been wanting to do for a very long time, we have now figured how we're going to do it. And so what we're doing is we are doing a major change to our website. When I say major change, this is a major change that I've heard people talking about that will take them six months to a year plus to rework it. And um, because we have a great team over here, we're going to be having it done within a matter of days. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to have a whole new look. Okay, I'm not going to give you all away, but we are expanding, expanding, expanding. Oh, I guess we should get on with the news. But meanwhile, I'm going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Republicans have been told while it is all right for the president to insult you and your family, there's no personal attacks on him to be condoned. Oh yeah, I mean the president, I, Barack Obama, can simply call your daughter any anything that he wants to call her, and say that your your uh, uh, your heritage is suspect, and that anything he wants to say. And the Republicans have basically been told, don't respond to anything he says. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, I mean, I heard one of the guys last night said if, if he calls my daughter what he's called somebody else's daughter, I don't give a about the F Secret Service. I'll go kick his ass all over the countryside and I'll do it on national television and the people will stand up and cheer because they've got daughters too. Mm -hmm. The guy is already insulting people's families. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just going crazy because he's a Chicago, I mean, Bill O'Reilly, I don't understand why a man this intelligent would do the things he's doing. Because he's from Chicago. Okay, my mother is from Chicago. My mother is from Cicero, Illinois. I know what my relatives would do over there. They're politicians, folks. They are not nice people. Now, isn't that nice to find out that I'm, I come from a family of not nice people? Uh huh. Yeah. And Senate Democrats to offer new tax cut plan that even more taxes, just not called taxes. Oh yeah, they're they're call they're now calling them their fair contribution. But I'm going to explain something that most people are okay. I, mean, I know Rex, as everybody knows, worships the ground. He's the Democrat in the room, folks. He worships the ground. The president walks on. So when I say anything, I have to hide his ear. Okay. Obama has said. 300,000 people in this nation should be made to pay the bills of 160 million. Mm -hmm. Minor and last time I looked, if you look in the mirror, that man is sort of not the same color as the people he's wanting to pay all the bills. Oh, imagine that. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. uh, and he, so he should know what it's like to be a minority, but he obviously doesn't. And he said the minority should support the majority. And I heard a Republican said, you know, he said, hot oh, damn, I finally got a president of the United States that I agree with. <laughs> that those people that are not, those people, the minority that are sitting on their rear ends and getting all this stuff, should be met, made to pay my bills. <laughs> and that's not exactly what the president means. He means if you're white and you make money, you should pay black people's bills. Ah. But it's not, okay, here's what he forgot. That it, it, the statistics show that when a minority member starts making money, they cease to be members of the Democratic Party. Ah. So guess who he's saying should now pay the bills? Mm -hmm. The better off minority members should pay for the bills of the people that are on welfare. Mm -hmm. So. And Sarkozy and Merkel kick off a week of crisis talks in Paris. Oh God, this is. I mean. They're, they're in there, I mean, I'm looking at the people on, on Bloomberg and on NBC and on Fox and on Wall Street Journal, they're all, you know, what the F is going on? Said, they agreed to come back and talk about things and they weren't in the stock market is going up. They agreed to nothing. There was no plan. They agreed totally to nothing. You know that what caused the market to go down yesterday? What? It's still there today, but the market is just steaming. And on top of that, the British are getting ready to bolt the system because oh, really? they don't have the money to pay the bills for Greece. So oh. there is no there is no consensus on how to cut spending anymore. Because if there's no consensus to cut spending, it means they're just going to continue to spend. And will the new new Green Grits have staying power? No. Okay. The only reason, okay, here's why I heard one of the, the, the Democratic pollsters who's more or less an honest person, he just reads the polls. He said, you know why Newt is doing as well as he's doing? Why? He's not Mitt. They don't want uh, Mitt Romney, and Mitt Romney seems to be the only person that doesn't understand. Wait, he's in the polls. He never got above 25%. 
They said, well, he's the only one that can beat the president. Well, okay, if I want to run against somebody whose rear end I can kick, I say, he's the only one that has a chance of beating me. Uh, and then he's saying that, okay, now they're saying, but Newt, Newt comes in a good second to Mitt on being able to beat the president, which means neither one of them stand, can beat the president. <laughs> Newt is not going to get the nomination, never in a million years, because the guy, he's old enough to be Obama's father. They're not going to put a person that age in the White House. Well, here, there's two things. There's one to get the nomination, there's another to win the election. He could get the nomination because, oh, everybody owes him. He's a senior member. I know, but the people know. The Republicans and the, the Republican leadership do not like Newt. Oh, they don't? They do not like Newt. Oh. He basically, what Newt has been doing, he's got the people that don't like Rob and the people that basically left Kane. That's what he's going on oh. with. And the people, they don't like, the way it works is there's nobody running for the Republican nomination that they like. Which harkens back to 1960 when John Kennedy got, I think it was like 30 some times, they went to the floor with votes and nobody wanted any of the candidates that had been in the process. So they just simply went to Joe Kennedy and said, hey Joe, you know, um, tell your kid that if he runs for president right now, even though he's too young and doesn't have the experience, we'll support him the next time around. But we just need to make a good show against Nixon, who basically had to, had a good solid war record. He was, you know, anti-communist, you know, pro-growth, all of this stuff, and great on foreign policy. And uh, and then Joe went to his son and he said, okay, kid, what we're going to do, you're going to go down, you're going to get your ass kicked, and you get to be president in four years mm -hmm. when you're old enough to handle the job and have the experience. And he said, oh, okay, Dad. And what happened was he won the election because <laughs> he won it in Illinois, folks. Ooh, Ooh yeah, like he won it by this, amount of, by this amount of votes, and they found exactly that amount of votes sitting in Lake Superior. Ah. That's how you win elections in Chicago. Folks. Oh, really? They just simply, if you're behind, you you know, uh, the other guy's votes disappear. And U.S. official says no sign Iran shot down the drone. Well, no, I saw that drone. That bloody thing is totally intact. It means it was stolen. Are you serious? There's not, I, that, I mean, we're talking that thing looked like it came out of the shop, which means somebody in Pakistan stole. Basically, they handed the drone over to the uh, Iranians. Mm. So. And Italy PM Monty unveiled a sweeping austerity package. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna work because um, here's the reason why the eurozone cannot get any consensus is because what is going to happen is these people that are running the country as soon as they're refusing to allow elections to be held because if elections were held they'd be thrown out of office. They know they know that Crazy in France is going to be thrown out of office to a person that basically says stop the damn spending. Merkel is getting ready to be thrown out of office by people that say stop the spending. All of these people, you know the only one that has said stop the spending, that has no chance of being thrown, they, they, the British Prime Minister. Oh really? He's the only one and they basically, they shut the country down last week to teach the British people a valuable lesson. Did they uh, get anything done? No, because the country doesn't have any money. And the British politicians are a little bit smarter than the other politicians because they... Margaret Thatcher was famous for saying the line, socialism ends when you've taken the last dollar out of the last person's pocket that has any money. Mm -hmm. They have no money in Great Britain. Their actors are fleeing that country over... I mean, uh, I remember it's, it, it's bad over there now like it used to be. I remember people that my family had known for 40, 50 years losing everything they had to the tax structure in Great Britain and coming to this country broke. Oh, really? And, I mean, you had Sir Lawrence Olivier doing com Polaroid commercials in our country because he couldn't afford to work in England. Mm -hmm. So. GM closing in on possible fix for Volt batteries. Uh, it's shorts. <laughs> it's a short in the system. Yeah. It's a short in the system. They're using batteries that have a bloody history of catching fire. And well, what do you expect? Okay, they do not allow those batteries to be put in cargo on passenger planes. I mean, okay, if you go to an airport, they tell, they ask you, do you have lithium batteries? Mm -hmm. And if you have lithium, they don't like lithium batteries because lithium batteries have a nasty habit of getting hot. Mm. And Japanese baby formula recalled after radiation traces found. Probably going to be lots of radiation traces and everything in the country. I mean, the okay. Here's the trick: it didn't kill the people after World War II. 
And since this isn't a bomb that went off, it's probably not likely going to kill the... Okay, here's... here's a, okay, I'm going to give people a really good idea. Before World War II, Japanese people this big. After World War II, Japanese people this big. Oh, what happened? They grew. Ooh, imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did, I, like, I was watching... I was watching... I like to watch Asian television. I'm listening to a Japanese comic talking about this. He said, well... He said, in the last 50 years, we've grown this way, girls not grown. Hope girls grow this way. <laughs> so, <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, they could be funny Japanese comedians. Well, dies and plunge from Queen Mary in California. I know. Somebody, uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's a heck of a long way. If you go over the thing, you're going to hit the water like a rock. I mean, it's like... Yeah, that's feet. enough to kill you. Yeah, it's really... Like, what, you know, from the ground, it's like uh, 10 stories up in the air when you fall off a railing. And Washington police discovered two bodies in a buried home. Yeah, so, I, I, I know, it's just, I, I don't get this bit, you know, kill people, bury them in the house. It stinks, folks. Mm -hmm. Obscene Medvedev account tweet embarrasses Kremlin. Yeah, basically, you would think that politicians... Okay, I heard this last night. You would think that after all of our politicians have gotten in so much god-awful trouble with, twi with Twitter, that they would know better in foreign countries. No. Mm -hmm. they, said that they, they said at least Medved didn't take his pants off and try to show people how much of a study he was. <laughs> yeah. What in the world did he do? He just, uh, he, he, okay, he, he got naughty, you know, with his tweet, but, uh, you know, they, they quickly removed it, but not before it was all over the world about what he did. Oh, so. now I want to see what it was. Well, they're, see, he knows he's going to be, the, him and Putin are changing positions, although Miguel Gorbachev is basically... Is Gorbachev coming back? You no, know, he's basically demanding the, the vote be thrown out because uh, they overwhelmingly, uh, Putin overwhelmingly won an election that everyone knew he was going to lose. This tip is Russia as it used to be. So, and if there's a rule against, okay, that him and um, the other gentleman are basically just changing positions. Putin goes back in as prime minister. Oh, I mean like how they were just before the other guy came in? Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's, just like, a, it's just like the Soviet Union. Soviet Union has always had laws about, well, you cannot succeed yourself. And then they just take another position and then... Then they flip-flop again? Then they flip-flop. So well, been, I guess you have to power, have a power agreement, right? Yeah. And package sent to Deutsche Bank CEO was bomb. Yeah, I mean, that's basically, they think the Occupy movements are getting very violent now. I mean, they have, last night, they, uh, yesterday, they shut down the shooting of, um, of uh, one of the NBC crime stories because of the fact that they, uh, you people represent the 1%, and then the guys that weren't getting to work you know we're extras that are only making 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. They basically cost everybody yesterday's work, and uh, today it's all cleaned up. And uh, here's a trick, too. I was listening last night to retired people that are police officers, you know, they're now like police commissioners. Mm -hmm. uh, they said, no, the lieutenant that was charged in the hand of the prop situation did everything wrong. He said, these people were threatening people on the set. A threat is all you need to arrest them and charge them with a felony, not, a, not just simply say, don't do it and go away. He said, the, 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 the office man that was called in, did not obey the laws. He interpreted the law according to the way the mayor wanted it done, and now they're threatening to leave the, the movie industry, the movie TV industry is threatening to leave the city of New York because the mayor is refusing them adequate protection. Now they, they pay oh, for really? okay, if you're on a union job, see my father used to make lots of money. He'd be the motorcycle officer that basically was set around with the cup of coffee and this and this stuff. Oh, you yeah, know, that looks like good stuff, you know, and, uh, but that's what they do. You pay for police protection on a union shoot. They did not get it yesterday, and they cost them the shooting schedule yesterday because the police, under, under the orders of Bloomberg, have basically decided that, uh, no, we're not going to stop these people no matter how much damage they do or how much work they cost people to lose. Ooh, package sent to Deutsche Bank CEO was bomb. Yeah, she, she likes that so much. She keeps I know, I keep saying it again. What well, is a big deal? Well, Why yeah, did they it catch was it? actually a bomb, so. It was a big deal. Ra Rabbi to become army chaplain, beard and all. Of That's going to be tossed out. That totally is going to be tossed out because the uh, upper courts 
say that the army has a right to discipline. They have a white right to say how you shall dress. And um, that is not allowed in the military. You cannot have a, you know, a rabbinical, uh, you know, you cannot have a beard down to your knees. Well, and it has, it has nothing to do with religion. No, it has. It's all... <laughs> it, no, you can, basically you cannot, okay, you cannot, uh, you know, basically religion is allowed to be practiced in your own way. But there is a uniform code of military conduct, which that is in violation of. The Supreme Court always goes with the uniform code, which basically you must confirm, conform to what everybody else is dressed like. Are there haircuts? You know, it's basically after your recruits you can have, a, you know, you can have longer hair, but you are not allowed to have big beards and big mustaches, no matter what, because they cause problems. So to go look no further than the Battle of the Bulge, where these people couldn't shave, and they were basically their beards, you know, their face, the facial hair would just be from froze on their faces, and people basically suffered massive facial damage because of that. That's why you, I mean, I, I remember. Uh, uh, you know, my father said that when he was uh, he was with Patton, Patton would come in and simply say, you know, that you know, get rid of that beard, kid, because you're going to regret it. And then they say, with well, certain, they said Pat would then get knife out. Oh, really? Yeah, and then sit there and show off that he could use he could use his his knife mm -hmm. to sit there and cut all the stuff off with no. No, and he said, "Well, how the hell he does it?" My father said, "Because his thing is as sharp as a razor. That's how, you know." And he'd been doing it since. Okay, cavalry always did it. Oh, uh, really? Because they, you know, because cavalry always wanted to look good in their horses. So, but he uh, was right because people were getting frostbite because of their beards. And unemployment aid applications dropped to nine month low. Oh yeah, they just said today that uh, the. That they're talking about how everything is headed in the right direction, and a person said, "Yeah, but isn't there less people applying for uh, unemployment insurance today because they've given up?" Well, said that's not important. And then oh, the really? woman said, "It is to the people that aren't working." Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, this is from an Obama person. What's well, not important that they've given up on trying to find jobs because there aren't any. Mm. And uh, you, know, uh, you know, so they did say that uh, the official. The the uh, the official unemployment rate is now at about twenty percent. Twenty percent of the people in this nation are unemployed, even though Obama once again the unemployment rate went down again this week. No, it's hit twenty percent now. That's what if you Obama changed the way of calculating unemployment mm -hmm. when he became president, so that it would make it look like things were uh, first. He changed it to make it look worse, so that Bush would be blamed, oh, really? and then all of a sudden. Well, we can't have that on my watch. So he changed it to dump it down to less than what it is, and it still went up. And now he's basically, uh, math, here, here's the thing, oh, I, I know I'm going to hide Rex here, because Rex does not like to hear things. It takes 120,000 people a week to be, 125,000 people a week to be hired to raise the, um, the lower the unemployment rate one-tenth of a percent. If you do 105,000 people, does that drop the unemployment rate? No. So what they're doing is, well, 100,000 people, 120,000 people this week just gave up and are longer looking. Well, the unemployment rate went down another tenth of a percent. That doesn't work that way. Power restored after one week in Southern California. Oh, God. You know, that's ridiculous. Folks. I know. It's, it's, through. it's just, um, what happens is, is that um, the power company doesn't have any money anymore because they don't have any money because they're not allowed to charge the rates that are required to to reboot the system because it's this is the 21st century you can't we saw it yesterday they're digging up whole intersections to put brand new piping in in housing areas because um, the the stuff is old but there's not enough money available to hire enough people to replace stuff so. It's, it's taking God off along. They, they have to bring people in from other states in order to fix our system because there's not enough people working here because they can't afford it. And they said, well, they're paying them. Well, no, they're not. If you bring them in from Nevada, the Nevada Power Company, which is actually part of the same grid that we're working on, is paying their bills. Mm. And so you take them from where the same organization and you move them from one spot to another. California is not picking up the cost. The other state's picking up the cost because they're... They've got no problems with their system because they're all newer. 
Oh, really? Yeah. And, you know, the sad news about that is there's 60 homes that still do not have power. <laughs> no. no, I mean, I am, I am. Uh, because I was, I was living in Missouri for a while, and we, we, got, we got hit by the 500-year flood. And uh, basically, we didn't have any power for two weeks, folks. I mean, we were surrounded. We were sort of, we were an island. We were, you know, they want, uh, uh, you couldn't get from one place to another. You had to travel 50 miles to go to the north to swing around to get to go to a city that was 10 miles away. But, uh, and we know what it was like because we were, we were using, a, you know, we had fireplaces, so you're cooking off of a fireplace, so it was in the fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and billion dollar weather disaster smashed a U.S. record. Not really. I mean, um, basically they're talking about, uh, you know, the hurricanes and this and that, which is normal. I mean, um, it, it, I'm going to try to explain it. You don't think Katrina was more expensive than what happened last year? Mm -hmm. the, the problem that went up the East Coast, that did not have to do with the weather system. That had to do with uh, um, people not paying attention to what the rules were. If you, you know, if you didn't button up your house and you lost your house, if you didn't shut the power grid down and you shot it out of the transformers, that's the fault of the people. It's not the fault of the weather system. They were told. Mm. And federal judge, Montana blogger, is not a journalist. I know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, are we journalists? Yes. Do we have credentials that show we're journalists? Yes. Gee whiz, then the blogs. Yes. So therefore, if you got credentials and we've got college degrees, I can show my college degree. It says right there, my college <laughs> degree. I also have a card, which I can't find at the moment. It says I am a card-carrying person, which actually we could have sent in to... Oh, we didn't yeah. even think about that. Yeah, but uh, it basically what it does is, the, we've talked about it before, major companies totally and absolutely hate the internet. They don't know how to do it, they can't make it. I think that's the problem is they don't know how to do it and so they... They're did, crushing anybody. They just yeah. want these people to go away and uh, while well, at the same time, people like CNN are moving closer to the internet, but they really got a god awful system. I mean, we've tried to upload videos there, we can't get it done, so... And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Do you honestly want to elect a person to the presidency of the United States that is totally afraid of saying anything because it's politically incorrect? Because what happens if you're going to talk to a foreign country? Well, I'm sorry. You're a Muslim and you're black. I can't tell you that it's naughty what you're doing. 